What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Brains Truth here. Welcome back to the channel. Hold on. Okay, there we go. We're all good. Alright, had my speakers off, but I don't know. The PlayStation 5 would be weird, so I always want to make sure that the uh, volume is on because I recorded my very first video on the PS5 and it was horrible. But welcome back to another episode of WWE 2K22 Universe Mode. So, we're doing our very first NXT on WWE 2K22. And we're going to go ahead and go through the matches and get started with the show. We have Isaiah Swerve Scott taking on the NXT North American Champion, Millennial Shaggy. Fireball taking on Becca Reese. Eva Shirai taking on the NXT Women's Champion, Candice LeRae. TJ Solazar and Swiggy, the Puppet Masters, taking on Walter and Marcel Barthel of the Imperium. We have the debut of Stoney Thomas and Ozzy Thomas, uh, the Tomcats, taking on Andrew and his dog, Andrew Collins and T-Dog. In our main event, we have the Wall NXT Champion, taking on Tim Timothy Thatcher. I don't know why they make the Wall look so freaking short, because he's not a short person. <laughs> Man's about seven foot four, something like that. NXT. 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 NXT, NXT, Winter Park, Florida. Is NXT traveling or are they still in Orlando? I think they're in or still in Orlando. I don't know. Off, 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 off. Because I don't have entrances done. Still working on getting all the characters made. Um, I will not be playing this match due to the fact that Millennial Shaggy is in this match. Probably have to go back and turn off entrances, even though I just turned some off. Why is his shirt still on him? Okay, we'll fix that at another date. But as of right now, we have Isaiah Swift Scott and the North American champion, Millennial Shaggy. Nice back elbow. On the ropes, punch to the face, knocks Isaiah Swerve for a loop. He gets sent to the outside. Millennial Shaggy coming off the ropes over the oh, what a drop kick! Taking down Swerve. Nice jawbreaker from Swerve. Shaggy goes up and Swerve controlling the tempo here. All over Shaggy. Coming into the ropes, into the ring, I don't know. <laughs> Coming in through the ropes to get into the ring. But now Isaiah is wrenching on the arm of Shaggy. Shaggy, that was, in, that was interesting. Knee right to the middle of the chest. Isaiah Swerve Scott heading up top. Nice, I, what the fuck was that? Kick right to the spine. Double foot stomp right to the chest before a kick. Millennial Shaggy is able to catch the leg. Dragon screw taking him down. Rolls him up and a kick right to the spine. Oof. Nice dragon screw again. The f Where were you going, Scott? <laughs> Swerve. Scott. I don't know what his plan was there. But, no matter what it is, what the hell is this? Del Phantasma. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Roman Doza. 
just hit the North American champion with a steel chair. You're going to tell me the referee ain't going to, like, call that? I feel like he saw that. And Isaiah Swerve Scott back onto the attack. Nice cross body under the spine. Rolls through and face buster. Referee about to smack somebody with that chair. Punch in the face. Oh, back elbows from Shaggy. Turns him around. It's taking him down. Gives a hold. I thought I thought uh, Swerve was gonna counter that, but Millennial Shaggy hits him with the DDT and a jawbreaker to follow that up. Spanish fly from Swerve. And a kick right to the spine. Went for a double stomp, but Shaggy was able to get out of the way. Another jawbreaker to swerve. Kick to the midsection, and a big super kick. Cover. And swerve kicks out. I think one of my cats is trying to get in. Give me one second, guys. And I'm back, and I just saw the little Shaggy smack another super kick. And Millennial Shaggy beats Isaiah Swerve Scott, even with a chair shot to the face. We need some explaining from Marcel Barthel. exit because I think I have to turn entrances off manually every single time. I had to do it yesterday. Yeah, see it doesn't it doesn't save that. We need to get we need to get something together here. But up next we have Fireball and Becca Reese. I'll take that. Because we're about matches underway. Becca Reese and Fireball starting off. And Fireball not wasting any time going taking the attack right to Becca Reese. Oh, nice counter from Reese. Reese. Go, well, what the fuck are they doing? They're coming right here in front of us. Knee strike right to the face, dropping Fireball. And then a knee right to the face. She's kicking her right in the back of the leg. You know, you kick someone in like the back of the knee or hit them in the back of the knee. That's that, that's it. Like you're you're falling. Face first goes Reese. That's punch and a drop kick. Goes up and then a suplex. Yeah, he punches. It goes up, and then a DDT. That, that was impressive. She lifted off Reese. 
Oh, chop to the chest. Oh, another chop to the chest. Kick to the face. Not... Fireball's being a... Well, now what? Just the second rope. She gonna hit the top rope? All the way up to the top. And then a third moonsault. Another... That one missed. We're using the ropes that time. Goes up. Only one way left to go. Oh, but she comes down on her feet. I'm not going to give Reese a second to breathe. Changes her idea, whatever her plan was there. And maybe, the, that, maybe that entire thing was to hit that big boot on a fireball. Sure it took a lot of time just to hit a big boot, though. It ain't my match. Oh, over the top rope goes Reese. She hangs on. A fireball laying in strikes. Ends a gurry. The fireball moves to the center of the ring. I'm going to come outside. Forearm to the face. Right here in front of us again. Strikes after strikes just being laid in. Stomp to the arm. Went for another stomp was unsuccessful. It throws her. Coming back in. For a punch was unsuccessful. Kicked to the midsection. I don't know what Fireball's doing here. Takes her down though. Nice in the gurry. Went for a kick was unsuccessful. Oh, shot. Open palm strike to the chest. Technically, anything that Becca Reese hits is an open palm strike with those paws that she has. But, you know, it is what it is. Reese looking for a pedigree. What the hell is she doing? Cover. Does she have her glasses on? Maybe I'm going to take these glasses off. Maybe maybe too blind as hell without him. I don't know what the fans are saying. The NFC universe is saying. Oh, nice punch again. Nice flapjack. Maybe you should stop doing that because you jump off the ropes every time you miss. Fireball goes into the corner. Oh, shoulders. Short. Just shoulder thrust right into that midsection. Mecca really working on that mid <laughs> midsection there. Reese going into the second rope. And then a splash. Kicks in the section again, looking for another pedigree on the fireball. The NXT Universe is saying one more time, but Reese is going to try to get that win instead. Reese does. Reese is beat up. Do you see her face? Reese is. <laughs> her face got jacked up. But nice sportsmanship shown by Reese and Fireball. 
I will be playing this match. The only match that I'm playing. I'm be playing as Shirai. Even though Candice is champion, I'm playing as Shirai. NXT Universe already getting behind Io Shirai as she went for a drop kick but was unsuccessful. She eats a forearm. Nice catch of the leg by Io Shirai. And then a nice dragon screw. Hits the midsection. And then a neck breaker. Neck breaker again. Takes you up and then face first into the mat. Referee telling her to get down. Then a big she soared through this guy. No superpowers allowed, Lorray. You leave those in the back. However, some of these superstars seem to have superpowers. Can't win the match out here. But she can short try to wear down Shirai. Shirai, I think, rolled out of it. Heavy strikes from Candice LeRae. And then a heavy strike from Shirai. The women have left ringside. Making their way up the ramp. Making their way back to the ring now. Big kick. Then another big kick right to the skull. Uppercut from Io Shirai. Have I been streaming for an hour? Ain't no way. That time is so wrong. Io Shirai coming off the ropes. Big elbow right to the face. Candice LeRae down. Io Shirai through the sky with an elbow drop. Nice German suplex into a cover onto Candice LeRae. Candice LeRae is able to kick out. Staying in this match. Attack in the neck. I think Cans the Ray looking for. Oh, what the hell is she? This is a surfboard. Face first. The violent hit to the mat. Up goes the Ray. Face first from Io Shirai looking to become. I was going to say become champion, but this ain't a title match. She, she, this could result in a title match. Wait, what the hell? What the fuck was that? Could have sworn she did a move off the top rope. Am I, am I tripping? A neck breaker delivered from Candice LeRae, regardless of whatever Yoshirai's move is. Face first goes LeRae, though. And locking up LeRae is Yoshirai. No! Oh, shit. <laughs> Yes, right, lets her out. I can't imagine why. Nice kick to the head. 
I was gonna say knee and then head, but I messed that up. Nice uppercut from Io Shirai. Not sure what we just saw there. Poison Rana from Larray. Putting her close to the ribs and locking in the Gargano stretch. I don't understand the point of putting her closer to the ropes, but whatever floats your boat, Candice. He is not going to use the ropes. She's going to fight out of this. Another poison rana. Referee telling her to get down. Larray up top. Shirai doesn't even know where she is. Candace Larray really ruined that anticipation. <laughs> Up goes the what a what a reverse DDT performed from Candice LeRae. Let's try getting back to her feet. Shirai has her up again. Butterfly face buster. Again, looking for the cover. And again, Candice LeRae kicking out, showing why she is NXT Women's Champion. Face first. Locking Candice LeRae up again. Champion trying to get to the ropes here, but she can't. She can't make it. She, the pain is just too great. And Io Shirai takes the W. You see that shit, Stony? You see that shit? Ozzy's over here slumped. I'm gonna shave. Yeah, three more matches to go through. But up next, we have tag team action the Puppet Masters taking on Imperium. I think I didn't turn off the entrances, so that's going to have to happen here in a second. Let's go! <laughs> Hopefully, the entrance attires aren't on them like they were for some of my other custom superstars yeah i didn't turn off and just that's fine that's fine all right so then keep the entrance of tires on good fans already excited this is the nxc debut of walter and marcel barthel Oh, big spinning kick to TJ Solidar. But Walter's no slouch. Butterfly suplex throwing him across the ring. Another one. Did Solidar pay for an airline ticket? Because he's 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 flying. Nice neck breaker from Walter. Walter sends him over the top rope. He hangs on. Punch the... Oh, my gosh. What a vicious strike. Walter making his way back out of the ring. And now Souls are going to try to open strikes up. Knight using a speed advantage he has over Walter. Oh. He's going to smack his face off. The back of his head off the steps there. Neckbreaker from Souls are... 
Went for a kick. And again, that speed advantage that Solzar has. Referee halfway through his count. And looks like Solzar's walking in a guillotine. He's going to try to probably make Walter tap, um, fall asleep, get that count out of victory, realizing Walter's no slouch. Just, Walter planting him down. He was on seven. Walter puts Solzar back into the ring. Walter coming back in. What is Swiggy doing? Swiggy needs to get out of the ring. Walter has him up, bouncing him off the ropes. Tagging in Barthel, and here comes Swiggy. Two fresh superstars coming into the match. What the hell is he doing? What the fuck? Did, did Marcel realize that Solzar was non legal anymore? Marcel doesn't want to be in the match. Okay. <laughs> Tagging in. Walter coming right back into this match. Swiggy has him up. That's an amazing show of strength. Face first into the turnbuckle. Swiggy's on the wrong side of the ring. Knee strike right to the midsection. Nice kick. Taking him across the ring. Face first into the corner. Tying it out to Soldzar. Oh. Nice kicks right to the midsection. And so they're going to continue the strikes. So he goes up top. Double foot stomp misses by a long shot. Coming off the top rope. That doesn't miss. Tagging out to Marcel. I just combined it. Marcel. I just combined his first and his last name on accident. Laying and strikes. Walter, get the fuck out the ring. You do everything around here. You even got a ref. Oh. Up. And down. Nice suplex from Barthel. A big German suplex again. Tagging out, and here comes Walter again. Very frequent tags in this tag team match. Walter doesn't want to do it. He Mar tell Mar Marcel to get in. Marcel with a big sit out spine buster. Oh, nice counter. Forearms from Solzar. If I was Solzar, I would tag out the Swiggy and try to see, try to let Swiggy do this match. Maybe that's what. Oh, maybe that is what he's planning on. Tag out. They did not touch hands. This team is so in sync. Wheelbarrow has been slamming him down for a cent on. Over top rope down to the floor goes Marcel. Coming back up for a kick. Swiggy dodges. Big suplex from Swiggy. Knee strike to the f f head. F fed. Haste. <laughs> Again, tagging out. Kick to the shoulder, dropping him down on the head. For a kick, missed. He decided he'd, he'd, he'd just try it again. Hammerlock DDT from Solzar into the cover. That could have been it. Walter in there to save the match. Solzar up top. Big elbow right to the back. Off the top rope again. And Solzar should try to end the match while Walter is distracted, but I guess he's going to do him. Big drop kick to the spine. Up oh, here comes 
Those, a big DDT from Marcel. That could have ended the match if he if Solzar wouldn't have taken so long. Gave Marcel plenty of time to fix whatever it is he was working on. Oh, Cameron went to the outside. We saw Walter just <laughs> flatten Swiggy. Kicks after kicks, strikes after strikes. Takes him down off the ropes. Big drop kick. Face burst into the turnbuckle, tagging out. Big drop kick. Oh, it really wasn't that big of a drop kick, but Walter and Swiggy. That was kind of a nasty clothesline. If he would have gave him a little bit more force, it may have been a little bit more nasty, but... Up, down! Went for a kick, went right over him. <laughs> Tagging out, and here comes Marcel again. Marcel up top. Coming down with a big splash. knee right to the arm again another jag kick to the head oh my gosh Swiggy you feeling okay kick to the skull Swiggy coming back strong I forgot that in this game the health regenerates if you're not wrestling, which I think is better. You know, if you're resting on the outside, your health should regenerate. Like Solzar, Solzar was fully red just not that long ago. But Swiggy locking up Walter, but he's right there by the ropes. Marcel in there to break it up. Solzar didn't stop him in time. I was about to say, Swiggy needs to get his attention back on Walter, but he's not. Swiggy, you just hurt Solzar. Get in the ring. Take care of Walter. Nobody's fighting. Illegal versus legal and illegal versus legal. <laughs> this match has come unglued. Go for another kick, but... These two men just dodging each other. It's the Swiggy got distracted by Marcel. Swiggy's over here trying to fight two men. <laughs> Can we just fight the legal man, please? Okay, that time Swiggy saved his partner. Swiggy up top. This is going to be a long way down. Trying to reposition to hit Walter. Big drop kick. This match is actually insane. Come on. We're the NXT Universe. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I... Am I Am I sorry? I just asked the cat, am I sorry? I meant to say, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to uh, disturb your sleep. Stoney's like, bro. <laughs> Knee right to the head. Big knee strike to the midsection. We've seen Swiggy hit them knee strikes, and they can't, they, they're not pretty. But Swiggy. I think Swiggy's ready to end this match, but oh, but Marcel coming in. Went for a discus forearm, but Marcel was able to catch him. Cover. But on the ropes. What, Stoney? 
Nice dragon screw from Swiggy. German suplex. Tags out. And here comes Solazar. Hammerlock DDT. God. Went for a big splash, but Marcel was able to get out of the way. Marcel could be looking to end this match. Plants him down. Swiggy's distracted. He's beating the hell out of Walter, though. <laughs> Big cross body from Marcel. Swiggy doing a classic. Oh, I can't think of what it's called. But reverse DDT from Solzar. Solzar should just turned him around and hit the uh, hammer lock. Oh, Solzar has him back up again. Tried this earlier. Didn't go through. Oh, has him down. Moon Salt could be looking to. What the fuck? Why didn't he go for the cover? What the fuck are you doing, Salzar? The match could be over. What the fuck are you doing? You could have went for the pin. Marcel. I quit. <laughs> it was a good run on YouTube, guys. Twitch. But, uh. I quit. Now Marcel unloading strikes onto Solzar. It looks like Solzar has got to open up, got to open up on his face. Focus on who you need to be focusing against. Gets him out of the corner. Goes up. What? <laughs> Marcel's shocked. Takes him down. Looking for that drop kick again? He is. Tagging out, and here comes Swiggy now. Swiggy so takes him down, locking him up. And Solzar gets rid of Walter. And Swiggy just unloading. Another takedown, locking him up again. It, Walter's it, tapping out. He taps out. I was about to say, Walter's incapacitated at the moment. And Swiggy and TJ Souls are the puppet masters. Take the W. Souls are fate. Souls are space. Got a little bloody up there at the top. But it's all good. Still gets the W here tonight. I think up next is our main event. Could be wrong. I am wrong. Okay. It's not the main event. How did I forget about this one? The debut of the Tomcats. Ozzy and Stoney. Thomas. Taking on T-Dog and Andrew Collins. Andrew and his dog. I will not be playing this match due to the fact that Andrew... And uh, T Dog are in the match. I think I'll play as a uh, Ozzy and Stony, but not in this match.
Here's Oscar Bell. Matches underway. And Andrew Collins starting us off with Stoney. Big suplex from Stoney. Oh, Dragon Screw. Wow, wicked, wicked strength thrown from Collins. Collins headed back up top, and Ozzy gonna send him for a loop. Locking him up. T Dog was coming in. Stoney almost grabbed a hold of T Dog. Slamming him head first. Then a kick after kick. Sagging out. Big splash. Sagging out, and here comes Stoney. Kicks, unloading, he pushes Andrew down, Jesus, <laughs> has Andrew up, right in front of his tag team partner, Stoney taking a long time figuring out what he wants to do. That could be dangerous in the long run. Gonna send him flying across the ring. Right into the ropes. Looking for an elbow drop, but Andrew was able to move out the way. Takes him down off the ropes. Went for it. Well, he did. He hit the big kick. Tagging out, and here comes Ozzy. Locking him up and planting him down. Big splash. Has him up. Face first. Laying in kicks. And looks like Andrew is busted open as well. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny because him and TJ Solzar in real life are related. Tagging out. He just grabbed Andrew by the throat. Oh, look at Ozzy taunting him. Oh! That could be very damaging to the back. You hit those legs wrong, that back could be gone. But you land on the back on coming over. You missed the legs. DDT from Collins. He tags out. He, he needs that tag out. Has T-Dog been legal yet? Or is this his first time legal? Regardless, gets dropped down by Stoney. And here comes Ozzy coming in. Tags out. Oh, is, is he going to fall for two? He does. We're going to see it again. Big splash from Stoney. Just a one count though. Looking for a kick. It was unsuccessful. Do you think that affects him? Imagine that vice versa, T-Dog. Let's, let's really think about that. Big spear from... Stony out of nowhere 
Tagging out to Ozzy. They're literally sleeping right now. Y'all are in a match. Y'all are sleeping. They're both playing right here. For a nice kick. T Dog, Shining Wizard. Is the top rope down to the floor? See that that one might be effective. <laughs> Standing on Stony, not so much. Tagging out, and here comes Collins. Spanish fly from Collins. Collins headed up top. Big knee strike to the face. Tagging out again. Big spine buster from Ozzy. Drags him all the way over to his corner. I don't know what the hell. <laughs> all the way over there. That was almost saved by Stoney. T-Dog. Butterfly. Oh, no. Counter from Ozzy. Ooh. Laying the strikes to the side of the skull there. Tagging out. Here comes Stoney. Or, or not. Ozzy planting him down. Has him up. Counter from Stony back elbow to the face. Face first. Tagging out, and here comes Collins. Or not. Okay, we're just. Okay, whatever. So, this is how 2K22 is going to be. Okay. Good to know. Elbow right to the knee. Another elbow. Oh, <laughs> said Yeet. Collins up top. He changes his mind. Probably should have take, taken that jump as he gets hit face first into the mat. And T Dog in there to break things up. Ozzy trying to figure out what he wants to do here. Oh, <laughs> Colin just got destroyed. No one's spice fighting the legal man. Taking down Collins. I thought Collins was gonna get get something there. Like, I thought he was going to take him down off the top turnbuckle, but he just stood there and took a hit. DDT! Big spine buster! Over the top rope down to the floor. Wait. Who's legal? Is, is Stoney and, and Andrew legal?
Anyway, Stoney picks up Andrew. Face first off the turnbuckle. I need something to drink. Somebody's got busted open. But it was someone on the outside. Both of them have masks on. I won't I won't get to know. Big punch from Stoney. Planning down Collins with a spine buster. All right, you got him over there. Like, I understand what he's doing, but obviously it ain't fucking work. He needs to save room so that... Um, Stoney can take a straight run to T-Dog. Hey, you okay? You okay. Neck, oh, I thought I was going for a neck breaker, but slams the face onto the knee. I just realized I didn't put a tail on Stoney. And he needs to be a little taller. Big. Face first to Wint. Ozzy. See, this is the thing. I don't like tag matches because they come in and they stop the count. It's like, like it, it's it at some point. It's like, all right, just stop. T dog, knee right to the back of the skull. Locking him up for a Boston Crab was way too close to the ropes. T Dog just leveled Stony. Now I seen this, now I know this is Stony's debut, but I didn't think I'd ever see someone level this man. Audrey coming over to save Stony. Picks him up. Oh, nice counter into a DDT. Nice spinning back kick. Tagging out to Stony again. Big form from Collins. Another Spanish fly from Collins. Collins heading up top. Ooh. God, just end the fucking match. Locking up Stoney. And... Uh, T Dog came in to stop it, but just decided never mind. I'm just gonna climb the turnbuckle. What the fuck is this game, dude? <laughs> Big spine buster from Stony. Thank God. I don't know. Uh, see, as much as I wanted the match to end. 
Why didn't T-Dog just jump off the top rope and save the match? I'm going to add this to the notes, though. I didn't realize that Becca Reese was also undefeated. Did she win tonight? She did. Okay, so she's still undefeated. Um, gotta add that. Becca Reese is now four and zero. And up next, guys, is the main event. The Wall faces off against Timothy Thatcher. Roger turn the engines as well. NXT champion the wall. Hopefully hopefully he's taller. Hopefully he's still tall then. And he keeps the fucking shirt on. He's not supposed to have the goddamn shirt on. The W. It, this game, I swear to God. Over the top rope, the wall hangs on. Is he tall? Is he tall? He's, is he as tall as he's supposed to be? I'm I'm starting to have a second. Like I, I'm getting stressed out. I mean, he looks pretty tall. How tall is Timothy Thatcher? That's the thing. Attacking the arm, now wrenching on the arm. Stomach going right into the ring right there. Laying in strike after strikes. Coming off the rope, kick to the head. Oh, got them knees up. W was iconic. And the fact that he's not that he kept the shirt on is infuriating. The wall ain't gonna be happy about it either. Like in real life, the wall. Up top is Thatcher. Big double axe handle. The wall with an elbow. This is a corner. Big drop kick from the wall. Oh, attacking the arm. And now the hands. Oh, Thatcher locking him up in a sleeper hold. Takes him down. Oh, 
Moonsault lands on his chest, head first, stomp to the hand. There's a pick him up and nice counter from the wall. The wall has Thatcher up, driving him down to the mat. The wall heading up top. Big splash. That could be it. That could be it. And a kick out from Thatcher. Yeah, when, when the wall comes off the top rope and does that splash, I was thinking Walls of Jericho, but uh, yeah, that that's already a wrestle. <laughs> You you can't just bitch slap the wall. It takes him down into the armbar. The wall rolls through. Oh, knee right to the shoulder. They get him in the head. Thatcher was aiding his head. Hooked suplex. Has him up. It drives him down. The wall up top. Big moon salt. Just a two count. Nice takedown again. The wall coming off the ropes. Nope. Big mood salt. Wall heading back up to the top. Big splash again. This time instantly into the cover. And Thatcher stays in it. My God. Wall's getting frustrated. Yelling at the referee. I'm about to get a fuck to bed. I mean, I am. Which I'm not. I gotta upload this to YouTube. <laughs> so. After that, I'm going to bed. I'm not gonna get a lot of sleep and I have to work tomorrow. Don't have a long shift though. Went for an up, went for a, the headbutt again, but Thatcher was able to counter, going right back, right back into the sleeper hold. But what's the wall gonna do here? Big kick to the face. Big moon salt instant. Just the wall being the wall, making him, you know, go the way he needed him to be. <laughs> Another moon salt into a cover. Can this be enough? It is not. Timothy Thatcher staying in it. Anaconda Vice. Is this enough to end Thatcher though? Well, the wall lets him out. The wall heading back up to the top rope. Another splash! I don't know if this is it. The statue that the wall takes the W here tonight. This game need they need to put some patches in this game. Add story mode in those patches. Um what's we gonna see here? Show us sportsmanship. And add tag team matches in my GM mode. Do you guys wanna see any my GM on here? 
I could probably try to do some GM if you guys wanted to see it. No, I'll do that manually. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I do thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys ever miss anything and want to catch up on everything, head over to my YouTube channel at Prince Truth. It's not there already. And if you haven't done already, hit the subscribe button. Turn push notifications so you never miss an episode. Hit that follow button and become a knight today. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, guys, I am out.